This is such a good story that I don't know why I haven't told you guys this before, but basically this is like how I started making money as an influencer. So I've been an influencer for like two years now, but for the first year of it, I was in college just doing it part time. And I was 20 grand in debt for my student loans. And I just kept gaining followers. Like I gained like 200,000 followers on Instagram in like five months. And I got a million followers on TikTok in like six months. And brands started reaching out, like a lot of bullshit brands that wanted to do like $20 promotions, like $100 promotions. And I was like, this is not worth it to me. I would only do an ad if it really like paid my bills and I felt like it was the right ad. So I passed on almost everything. But when it came to huge brands, like one of the first brands I worked with was Benefit and they were like, we want you to take over our Instagram story. Or Halsey like had has this makeup company called About Face and they were like, we wanna do an ad with you. And then Sephora reached out and wanted to do an ad. And I was like, these are huge household name brands. I should do this because they probably have budget and because it would add to like career validity. So like if people saw me working with Sephora or Halsey or Benefit, I look like a legitimate influencer. So when I said yes to those deals, a lot of those brands were like, what's your rate? Like how much do you charge? And I was like, ah, I don't fucking know. Like there's no glass door for influencing. I don't know any influencers at that point. I didn't know how much to charge. So for my first deal, I was like, uh, 500 bucks. And they were like, oh sure, yeah, we'll do it. So they paid me like 500 bucks. I'm not going to say which brand, but one of them paid me 500 bucks. Then I went to the next brand and I was like, hmm, will you guys give me like $3,000? And they were like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. And I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. Like $3,000 was two months of rent for me in New York City. So then I went to the third brand. And when they were asking me my rates, I was like, these other two brands paid me 25 grand each. I'll do 20 grand with you. And they were like, hmm, like you, you drive a hard bargain, but we'll do it. When I tell you I shit myself, th that, that one brand deal paid off my student loans. I was a net neutral on my debt. And that was when I decided to be an influencer full time. I was like, if I can land one of these 20 grand deals a month for a year, that's more money than my dad makes a year. And that's when I started taking shit seriously. And let me just say this as a young woman, you better be fucking bluffing. If you get like a job offer for 40 or 50 or 60 grand, be like, I need 80 grand. I have a four year degree or my previous job paid me X amount, even if they didn't. You gotta believe in yourself, bro. And you gotta bluff. And you gotta act big to be big.